So instead of getting the Walking Dead Rick Grimes movie trilogy, we are now getting the Walking Dead Rick and Michonne series. <laughs> So in July at the uh, San Diego Comic Con, <clears throat> fans were treated to a surprise appearance by Andrew Lincoln and Danny Garrier or Garia, I can't understand it properly. And they basically made the announcement that uh, there's going to be a Rick Grimes and Michonne TV series that will follow on from Rick Grimes' exit and also Michonne's exit. For a long time, fans speculated and gave up an idea too that the Rick Grimes movies weren't going to happen, but um. Turns out, you know, they actually have been working on the script uh, ever since Andrew left the show, and they really were just trying to get it right. Uh, filming was meant to begin for the first Rick movie uh, right before COVID, before we were all put into lockdown, and of course that delayed it. Um, if anything, going by what they say, the lockdown, COVID-19, done them a favour because it allowed them to work on the script more and polish it to perfect it, make it the best that they wanted it to be. And now at this point they feel that uh, instead of doing a Rick trilogy they'll turn it into a series. Which in ways I like and don't like. It would have been nice to go to sit and see Rick on the big screen. And yeah you would have had to wait like maybe another year or two for the next couple of films to come out. But with a series, I mean we're pretty much getting more than a trilogy here. Like if these series could end up being, the episodes could be 45 minutes long, they could be 90 minutes long, who knows, but it's going to be like a six part, well the first series is, I don't know if there can be any more than one series, but it's basically going to be like, as Scott Gimple described it, an epic and insane love story, and we're going to see Primal Rick, we're going to see Primal Michonne, so we're going to see season 5 Rick again, and we're going to see season 3 Michonne, <coughs> I'd say, you know, Rick is more than likely been held against his will because Sierra has saved his life, and if you go my walking dead world beyond, once they have you, like, you can escape, but it's too much of a risk because of how powerful they are. So, I'd say Rick is more like a friggin' pest that he can't get back to Alexandria and everyone thinks he's dead. So, whenever he sees Michonne, like, you know, he's probably gonna be like, Is this real? Am I really seeing her? You know, or if Michonne sees him, just like, probably gonna be relieved, but they're gonna be like two different people again. So, I'd say Michonne's gonna be absolutely pissed and surprised that he's been alive the entire time, possibly being held against his will. And we'll go batshit crazy, do anything to get him out. And Rick, when he realizes this is an opportunity to escape that he's been longing for, if that's the case, um, he's going to go batshit as well. So the two of them, <coughs> I'd say, are probably going to take down the CRM, you know, or at least try to escape it at this point. One downside Scott Gimple, who was a showrunner of Walking Dead from seasons four right to seasons eight, he was the one that had Carl killed. I'm pretty sure he was the one that had the. Um, the surprise, you know, as to who Negan killed, he that idea could have been his, might not have been. We never really, get never really to wait six months to find out who it was that Negan killed. Scott Gimple will be in ways like George Lucas has lots and lots of good ideas, but sometimes when it comes to executing it, maybe not so much. I'm kind of weary of this. The first half of season five, filler, 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 filler. Nothing really happens. It's just them out in the road trying to survive and it's pretty freaking boring. I was screaming at the screen get to the point as it was with season 8. Dragged out the whole Rick and Negan out all out war. And it's like get to the point, get to the point, stop wasting our time. And getting Rick to say and do stupid things that are just out of character. Um, but I suppose it's better to have Scott Gimple than have somebody completely new who doesn't really know what they're doing. Whereas with Scott Gimple, you know, this series could be good and he has took a break you know he actually kind of took over a show for seasons 9, 10, 11 of The Walking Dead whereas he was still very much involved like, as a writer and producer but um, I'd like to think if he's going to go and do the Rick and Michonne series that <clears throat> the break done him good where he can like finally have something to show for with this series with Rick and Michonne it'll be so interesting whenever they come together again when they reunite. I wonder does this mean that Rick and Michonne are going to try to kill each other? Like will Rick be dressed up in CRM uniform, Michonne goes to attack him or vice versa? No, she'd be attacking him, but then maybe he takes off his freaking mask and say, oh my god it's Rick, you know. Oh, I wonder how this will end. Will they take down CRM or will she be like, come on we're going back to Alexandria, we're going. I think Rick Nicotero was originally meant to direct The Walking Dead movies. I'm pretty sure he'll be back to direct the Rick and Michonne series, some of the episodes, if not one or two, if not all of them. 
Uh, I don't think he's been directing any of the episodes on the main Walking Dead show. Probably because he's working on the Rick and Michonne series. I, I think that's more like it. So he wouldn't be able to balance between the Rick and Michonne series and the Walking Dead series at the same time. That would just be too much for anybody to take on. I'm hoping like, for the Walking Dead, a lot of fans are hoping for the last episode that there will be a reference to Rick or have him show up. You know, which will lead to the other spin-offs. Um, <clears throat> this was a leak. Spoiler, okay, spoiler. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a leak going around that um, an event will happen in season eleven where all the characters find out that Rick is alive and well. Maybe not well, but he's alive. And then they set out to look for him, which probably leads to all the other Walking Dead spinoffs, like the Maggie and Negan spinoff, the Daryl spinoff. They're probably all going to be like, okay, so Daryl's going to France. Maggie and Negan are going to New York. Maybe Michonne gave them information as to where he might be. Uh, because she found out on the boat with Virgil that Terry Rick was alive by seeing his boots and going by the notes just in there he might be in Philadelphia or somewhere and the more she looks she might be able to track down where he is and track down places where he was at so she could be having a map of like say three places and she'd be like okay he's either in New York he's either in France or he's in Philadelphia and she probably radios that to um, you know Judith who would tell Daryl, Negan and Maggie uh, he's alive and he's at one of these three places and maybe that's where they come to the agreement with Dal. It can be like, oh, I'll head to France. My and Egan will head to New York. <clears throat> and Michonne's already continuing on where she left off based on what she's found about. But it would make sense. Um, the last eight episodes of The Walking Dead are meant to focus, from what I've heard, on the CRM, so the Republic military. So, and the trailers, even the trailers that we've seen have actually been showing hints and references to Rick. Like, we've got Daryl holding Rick's revolver here, you know. So, there looks like there could be some Rick Grimes content and the show started with Rick, so it makes sense for it to end with Rick. They can't just end the show without bringing back the main character that started with it all. But we'll soon see. The next episode of The Walking Dead, I think it's the start of the episode on uh, Halloween, <clears throat> so end of October 2023. The Rick and Michonne series is made to start filming soon, I think. It's either filming in May 2023 or we're going to have it by May 2023. Spring, um, I'd say a year from now we'll definitely have the Rick and Machine series. Filming is meant to start very soon because we've been working on this year for so goddamn long. That's all I have to say about that.